Hello fish keepers and welcome to Royal Fish Aquatic. We're bringing back monthly species and this month I am going to highlight the zebra apple snail. So stay tuned. Hello everybody in the fish fam, all my followers, guys, girls, everybody out there in this fishy, fishy world. So this month, like I said, it's the zebra apple snail. This is what you're looking at right here, the zebra apple snail. Another name for this is a spixy snail. And they are in the apple snail family. I'm going to screw this up, but it's called Ampura Real Day. Okay? <laughs> um, but this snail right here, the zebra apple snail, their origin is Brazil. And they're found, you know, all over Brazil. Very beautiful little snail. And what you see behind that is some of the eggs. And that's actually in the water, but we're going to get to that in just a second. And these guys get about one inch in diameter. This is about full grown right here and they live one to three years if kept cold for weeks during winter one to two if not so this is about two years average tropical tank and um they are separate sexes they're not hermaphrodites how do you sex them not really sure a lot of people are not really sure with that you just throw a couple in your tank and you start getting eggs is the best way um These guys, they like to move a lot. I wouldn't recommend a 10 gallon. I recommend a 20 gallon at least for these snails. And the temperature you want to keep these guys is about 70 to 79 degrees. In the winter, about 61 to 68. So they could withstand a little bit of cold weather. So it's not too bad. If kept cold in the winter, their semi bury themselves into the bottom. And it's because that's the climate down in southeast Brazil where they're normally known to be at. Their subtropical temperature ranging 61 to 68 in the winters. Now I got a couple of them over here doing um doing their craziness right here. And these guys you'll find medium freshwater aquarium, gravel or sand, and bare bottom. They do fine in bare bottom. I have mines in bare bottom right now and they've been breeding very successfully. Now feeding these guys is like feeding any other snail or pleco. You know, just boil the vegetables, throw it in. Um, you could use lettuce, cucumber, spinach. Fish flakes is fine, unseasoned tofu too. Um, any type of waif wafers and everything. Right here, what you see, it was a calcium pellet. I do these weekly. Calcium pellets are good for them to get, make sure they have a good shell and everything. And spicy, these guys, um, they're known to eat soft aquarium plants and smaller snails like ram horn or trumpet snails. They're pretty fast moving for apple snails but not that fast if they catch your small snails then yes they will eat them now let's get to the breeding part because a lot of people want to know how to breed these so breeding they put little clumps of eggs in the gel mass eggs are laid beneath the surface of plant stones or on the aquarium glass and I'm gonna show you some of the eggs that I have. Let's see. see, that's some eggs right here. This was the first batch they laid. Then I had another batch laid right there. Then there's one right here, one right behind them. And I got some back there in a couple different little spots but these are the eggs that they lay just like this let me get a nice focus for you guys there you go little clumps like that not as big as your um mystery snail but they will put a lot of clumps here and there 
these guys are known to probably eat their own eggs or not their own eggs but eat each other's eggs these guys are active during the hours of night and anything with copper or other fish, fish treatment in the water can kill these guys so make sure you got a nice healthy tank where you don't have to be putting chemicals in there to treat your tank these are not good to have in a tank where you do quarantine because you can kill them and they're known they could eat each other if they don't like each other and they're known to eat each other's eggs So guys, if you have not subscribed to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, leave a comment, press that bell, and since I noticed you guys are really, really liking these monthly species, I'm going to continue doing monthly species with you guys. It's been a while, but thank you for hanging around, and hey, I'll give you a couple more, like a minute more of the footage. Don't forget, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you for watching Royal Fish Aquatic. And you guys have a blessed week.